It's a hard fact of life that furry art is one of the biggest industries online. For some reason, a lot of furries seem to be extremely wealthy and willing to drop hundreds and even thousands on artwork of their custom characters. Basically, if you want to make some money, start selling furry art. There'll always be some mysteriously rich furry benefactor out there who'll buy it, especially if it's on the more, uh, let's say risque side. But one of the most expensive sales ever took place on DeviantArt, where a piece of custom furry art sold for $20,000. Needless to say, chaos and controversy ensued and the legendary sale is still talked about today. Here's the story of the 20k furry. Before we get into today's video, I'd like to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Wingfox. Wingfox is an online learning platform where you can take courses in digital painting, special effects, film production, animation, concept art, design, and more. All taught by industry experts and veterans. The course that I took this time was character painting and Photoshop by Wingfox Studio themselves. This course will teach you everything from using reference to painting with volume and depth to rendering different materials and everything in between. Plus, any course that you buy on Wingfox, you keep forever. So whether you're a beginner looking to learn a new skill or a seasoned artist looking to level up your skills, head to wingfox.com and find your perfect course. Use my discount code WFH15 for 15% off any course. Once again, that's WFH15 for 15% off any course. Once again, thank you so much to Wingfox for sponsoring this video and now, let's get on with the story. To explain the story of the fated artwork, we first have to delve into the world of adoptables. For the uninitiated, adoptables are basically unique character designs which are sold and traded. An artist will usually make multiple adoptables, called a batch, and sell them to people who will then draw and roleplay with them. They can range in price from mere dollars to well, thousands. And while most adoptables are brought simply for their cool designs, there's a large market of expensive premium adoptables. These adoptables are highly sought after and valuable either because they were made by a popular artist or because they're a closed species. Once again, I gotta explain for the uninitiated. Species are a subgenre of adoptables, but instead of just making a random character design, the artist creates a whole species with its own set of defining traits and characteristics. There are open species where anyone can make their own character, and there are closed closed species where you have to buy one. While the ethics of closed species have been a hot topic in the art community for a long time, there's no denying the ridiculous popularity that some closed species have reached. Some species are so sought after that people will spend hours in bidding wars and will shell out months worth of wages just to get their grubby little paws on them. In turn, the buyers have actually formed a bizarre community of their own, almost gamifying the purchase of adoptables. Buyers themselves became famous in the community just for owning rare adoptables, while newbies were advised to stick to more beginner-friendly species which didn't have vicious bidding wars, complex trading politics, and high price tags. Yeah, these rich furries were running their economy better than most governments do. But back to our story. It all started with a DeviantArt group called Grim Corps, who were selling a closed species called Grims. From the Grim Corps page, quote, Grims are creatures from an ancient species that have been thoroughly domesticated by humanity. Grims serve as human companionship and protection along with many other the means of assistance. They can be created to be loving and cuddly companions or stern and alert defenders depending on your needs. While personally the whole muscular bipedal animal companion thing is a little weird to me, I can understand why people wanted to invest in these things. Not only are the designs and artwork nice, but you kind of get to feel like you're part of an exclusive rich people club. It's basically the same as wearing designer clothes. You're in it for the aesthetic, but the status of owning something expensive plays a big part too. And oh boy, were Grimm's expensive. These things are regularly sold for over $300, with many buyers becoming well known in the community for their large number of Grimm's and the sheer amount that they've invested into the clothes species. So now that we know a bit about Adoptables and Grim Corpse themselves, we can dive into the story of the infamous 20k furry with a little more context. Let me lay it down for ya. It was the summer of 2019 and a DeviantArt user called Caravan Outpost, Caravan for short, discovered the Grim Corpse page and the Adoptables that they were selling. Having fallen in love with the Grims and all their the muscular charm, they decided that they needed to have one. Now, information from this time period is a little lackluster due to many older posts on the Grim Corps page being deleted because of harassment. But what we do know is that on July 12th of 2019, one of the co-founders of Grim Corps, Toothless Ego, started an auction to get a custom Grim. It was going to be a Cypherous Grim too, the most rare and heavily sought after type, and the bidding started at a hefty $800. The original creator of the species, known as Mr. Grim, 
Grimble was going to help out with the auction to make it go smoothly and even volunteered to throw in some free art to the winner. The auction started and was going well with bids going into the thousands as expected. But it kept going. Things began to spin out of control as the bids increased with no sign of stopping. Here are a few quotes from the bidding wall which were salvaged from the now deleted post. Note that the user Kintsugi Kitsune is Caravan. 9,500 Good luck, comrade. 9,600. Same to you, dude. I'm flabbergasted in the best possible way. What an amazing community that brings us together like this. 18k. We're flying through space now. Ah, okay. 20k and I tap. Well fought, brethren. I fucking salute you because holy damn. If you win, your grim is gonna knock it out of the friggin' park. I can feel it. 20,500. Tap while you still can. I desire epicness above all things. Edit. All light will end. At this point, it's unclear whether the other bidder tapped out or Mr. Grimble stepped in to end the bidding, but Caravan won the custom Grim at a whopping $20,500. Needless to say, the community was in an uproar, so much so that the comments had to be disabled and hidden. Some were congratulatory to Caravan and the Grim Corp team for their big sale, while others were disgusted by the ordeal and accused Mr. Grimble of being greedy or even faking the sale. While the auction was won, Caravan would have to wait a while for the custom adoptable to be designed and drawn up, and the community was on the edge of their seats in anticipation for the big reveal of what it would look like. With the community in shambles from the shocking event, you'd think that Caravan would lay low for a little bit, right? Nope. Only nine days after the $20,000 adoptable purchase, Caravan brought another Grim adoptable for $3,000. Yes, this is on top of the $20,000. People could only watch on in shock, bewilderment, and horror as Caravan placed a bid on another adoptable, this time of another closed species called Browbirds. They placed a $6,000 bid, but the owner of Browbirds banned them halfway through the auction. Caravan speculated that Mr. Grimble told the owner of Browbirds not to sell to them due to their recent purchase history. Understandably, they were a little wary about a buyer who had spent nearly twenty-five. dollars on adoptables in just over a week and their bids were removed from the auction. The adoptable community was still reeling from the drama even months later. Any mention of the 20k adoptable would draw angry commenters out of the woodworks and it was still a pretty hot button topic. Meanwhile, the community was still waiting with bated breath to see the custom grim. They wanted to see what a $20,000 commission looked like. Would it have the painstaking detail of a Michelangelo? The sorrowful realism of a Rembrandt? The dedication to perfection of a Da Vinci? Well, all was revealed on February 9th of 2020 when the $20,000 gram was unveiled. And... Well, the colours are nice? I'm being harsh, it's a very pretty design and since it was custom, Caravan had obviously asked for it to look this way. But honestly, you can tell that it's been rushed. The shading looks a little muddy and unrefined, many parts of the design aren't rendered at all and it overall looks too loose and sketchy. I'm not saying the art is bad or ugly by any stretch of the imagination, but in the context of $20,000, it just doesn't seem to have enough time put into it. As soon as the Grim was unveiled, it was carnage. The community was outraged and hateful messages messages flooded in, calling it ugly, unfinished, and horrid. The outrage was reignited all over again, with arguments and hate filling the Grim Court page and drawing the attention of the entire adoptable community. So what on earth was going on? Who was Caravan and why were they spending such insane amounts? Was this some sort of scam? Was it secretly Jeff Bezos behind the account? Well, the truth was actually much darker. After the Grim was unveiled, Caravan would make a shocking DeviantArt post explaining why they had spent so much. Quote, Last summer, I was the one who bid exactly 20.5k on a custom Grim slot from Toothless Ego. Why did I bid that much? I'd finally gone on meds for my severe anxiety and depression and unfortunately I was on too high of a dose of my SSRI. This caused me to be manic. One of the symptoms of mania is going on spending sprees. Caravan explained that they had told Mr. Grimble about their manic state while bidding and asked for at least a partial refund, which was refused. At this point, Caravan threatened to issue a chargeback, further souring their relationship with Mr. Grimble, which was already tenuous. Eventually deciding against this for unknown reason, Caravan instead demanded that the custom adoptable be finished immediately or they would take legal action. By this point, they were tired of waiting for their custom and were stressed out by their worsening relationship with the Grim Corp staff. It seemed like they just wanted the adoptable to be over and done with and 24 hours after their 
illegal threats they received their custom grim. They themselves admit that it was a rush job and they must take some responsibility in causing that rush by threatening legal action. If they hadn't done that and given the artist a bit more time, maybe it could have come out a little bit more finished looking. Ultimately, Caravan's posts received both backlash and support, with some claiming that Mr. Grimble was purposely taking advantage of their mental illness and others claiming that Caravan was lying about their mania. And while it is true that Caravan's posts lacked many screenshots to back up their claims, I personally believe that they were telling the truth. Even looking back at their original bids, they were talking in a kind of manic way and their compulsion to spend thousands and thousands over the span of a few weeks also fits the bill. While the deed is done and in the past now, I personally think that Mr. Grimble should have issued a refund. $20,000 was already a ludicrous amount of money and after the refund, Mr. Grimble would still walk away with around $10,000. I think issuing a partial refund would have been the empathetic and kind thing to do just on a base moral level. On the other hand, at the end of the day, Caravan was still responsible for their purchases despite the unfortunate circumstances. I can understand Mr. Grimble being frustrated at someone flaking out on such a big purchase. It's a tough situation either way, but in the end it was resolved and Caravan got their rushed 20k Grim. After this, Caravan was subsequently banned from the Grim Corpse page and deactivated their account. It's unknown whether they still have a presence online, but it's likely that they're simply going under a new name these days. The story of the $20,000 furry commission is a strange one. One of the biggest purchases in furry history may have only been made because of the buyer's drug-induced mania and nearly tore an entire community apart. The fact that the design was rushed was the cherry on top and cemented the story in the Internet Hall of Fame for its controversy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have had a great start to your 2021. Um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Wingfox for sponsoring it. And yeah, I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.